It's a beautiful day out in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, it's raining outside and it's great. I mean, we don't get to, uh, we don't get a lot of rain in Tucson. We are living in the deserts. Anyway, uh, I just roasted a batch of uh, fresh roasted uh, Colombia beans. I just roasted a few minutes ago. It doesn't smell right now, uh, but once about 20 to 48 hours, it's gonna be really good. Anyway, I just roasted. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, dial it in. Uh, how to dial it in, uh, the, all the uh, different settings and dosing amounts for Bravo Bristol Express. So anyway, stay tuned. I'm back. It's been 48 hours. I was hoping to make yesterday, but I thought I'd give it another day to uh, rest my freshly roast beans. It smells great. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, adjust the ground size to make, you know, better espresso. So let's get to it. Uh, in this case, I'm not gonna use the, the uh, double basket. Because during the adjusting the ground size, you are going to waste a lot of beans. So I, I just rather waste a little, you know, a little bit, not the, so single size, single basket, going to use uh, less beans, going to waste less beans. Also, I'm going to use a uh, single wall, so non-pressurized, so you can get a better extraction there. Okay. So again, so single, so I'm going to use nine gram. I'm going to use the uh, scale to uh, measure out exactly nine. Can you guys see okay? Okay, nine gram. So it's about 9.7. Okay, it's about nine gram here. I'm going to change to the ground size, I, I set at 7. So again, the Breville Barista Express, so the setting is a 0 to 15. So in the beginning, I already set around 7, like halfway, and see what happens. It's about nine gram. And the before, uh, before I'm going to make coffee, I like to flush out a little bit. And just make sure, it's been, I've been warming up for about a couple hours now. The internal temperature should be around 200, so. If I'm going to Water is coming out around 186, 192. So actually, that's uh, 192. So this is pretty good because the internal temperature is too. So coming out, yes, yeah, so 192 is a very good temperature. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to use my homemade dosing funnel. Uh, if you are interested, uh, check out my other video as well. Let's see here. I mean, this is good as you get for homemade. Okay, and let's take a look. So we are looking for, you know, I mean, comes to pressure wise, or right on the middle, on the express zone right here. And then we are hoping to get around maybe one ounce for extraction. So I got measuring cup. I got the cup, I'm gonna tear up. So let's figure out how much we are going to extract. I'm going to press the single button. It 
it's not too bad actually yeah we are right on inside the zone maybe I got locked out okay and let's see how much we are going to extract it about 28 gram so this is equivalent to uh, exactly one ounce so So this is pretty good. The question is, how is taste? Cheers, everybody. Okay. Let's see here. Very smooth, uh, dark. Let's see. A little bright. It's not as bright as I like to be, but still bright. Uh, let's see. Is overall is an excellent espresso. So now, so. So there was a little, so there was more higher side of the pressure. And unfortunately, Bravery Barista Express, uh, you cannot adjust uh, even fine. So pretty much right now I'm set at seven. So I cannot go down to like six and a half or go to eight or go to eight and a, uh, go to seven and a half. It has to be one step. So seven, eight or seven or six. So. For this time, I'm going to use full basket, the full size, and then do the same extraction. But I'm going to uh, ground size a little or coarser. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to change to the size eight this time. I'm going to use full baskets. So now I'm at size eight and I'm, so this time, I'm, since I'm using the double, I'm going to use 18 gram. I mean, if you are doing this every morning, don't. Uh, just use the uh, pressurized basket. But if you have time on weekends, uh, if you got nothing to do, I mean, this is a good way to kill your time. Okay, so this, this is about 18 gram, right? The reason why uh, I'm using, I just, I use uh, this beans one person at a time because I don't want to store my beans in here because I like to uh, use fresh beans every morning. So, uh, I mean, so that's what, that's what I do. So again, I'm going to change that to double. Exactly 18 gram. So I'm going to use double basket. Again, flush. I like to shake up a little bit, <clears throat> get all the uh, clumps on. Thank 
a little mess here, but that's okay. All right, so we so we change it to uh, setting seven to eight, a little coarser. And now I'm using the double basket, so I should get about two ounces around there. So. Okay, you see that? Uh, pressure, which means choking. Uh, I'm at the borderline. Express looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think about the shots so far. Actually, it's not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. It's nice crema. And then let's find out how much we extracted. 49 gram, or 1.7 ounce. So just under two. The question is, what tastes like? Okay, here we go. It's pretty good. Uh, let's see. It's more smooth, more mild. It's sweeter as well. So, so, so this is size eight. So how about uh, next shots? Uh, we're gonna do one more shot. I'm going to change to maybe size eight, maybe 10. Instead of going to nine, I'm gonna go to 10 and see what happens. Okay, so eight, nine, 10. I'm just going to press the grinder, so change up the gear here, all right? Let's try one more time. By the way, this puck is nicely dry. And that's the great thing about the Braver Brista Express. They extract all the moisture uh, uh, during the process, the extracting express, so, so it's pretty cool. Just clean up the another cup for this. So we have so size ten. Okay. So again, eighteen gram. I mean, as you can see, I mean, this is, you know, time consuming process. But you know what, it's really fun to do it, actually. It's really fun. Yeah. Fun to tinker with uh, size and, especially if you are doing the home roasting. The reason why I'm measuring every time, so, so you're gonna get the consistent flavor every time with uh, this batch. So I don't have to second guess about, am I printing too much or too little, so.
Okay, so this is third shot. Uh, ground size 10. And here we go. So right now we are just below. As you can see, it's really fast. Really fast. So 10 was too coarser. So maybe 9 was the right number. So let's see how much we extracted. Goodness, we did 5 ounces here. 5 ounces. Yeah. I mean, it looks great. A lot of crema. But, I mean, let, let's try anyway. Oh wow, it's terrible, it's terrible. Okay, you know what, Let, let's give it one more shot, okay? Let's do one more time. So this time we're gonna go nine, okay? I think a nine is the magic number. See, I mean, so this is a reason why the dialing uh, the right grind size for espresso is uh, somewhat difficult because it changes every day uh, and depend on the beans and depend on the, the weather. Anyway, uh, that's another reason I really like the pressurized baskets. I mean, if you're there close enough, you're going to get a consistent shots every time. Okay, so we're going to do one more time. Oops, falling out here. Station. Eighteen grams. Let's do one more time. So again, so this is the 9, the ground size 9 from 10, and hopefully we're going to get the right shots. There we go. Okay, so I'm right on the middle, as you can see. Looks pretty good. The full of crema looks wonderful. Everything looks great. This is about 71 gram. This is about 2.5 ounce. 
I think I'm okay with that. All right, next thing what we're gonna do, we are going to taste, all right? So this was a size seven, so that was okay. You know, overall, this is acceptable. It's about a a 1.7 ounce extraction. And so the other shot was horrible. That was a grand size 10. It wasn't that great. Actually, it was pretty bad. But this one was size nine, it's right in between. And again, it's really, really good. Tasty, uh, brighter, a little sweeter as well. Pretty smooth. I wish, uh, so this 2.5 uh, ounce extraction. And then if I play with, actually no, not to play with the ground size, but pretty much this is good as you get for that shot, I believe. Because there's no 9.5 or, I prefer, this is nine, so I prefer 8.5. It'd be perfect because this one was seven, so seven was too fine. So I want I need to be around eight point five, but there's no eight point five on Braver Versa Express. Anyway, so that's the one downside of having that built-in uh, grinder, of Braver Versa Express. I mean, if you like to play with the ground size, uh, better off just. Uh, get yourself a separate grinder for that. I mean, you can have a lot more uh, flexibility there. But for the home use, I mean, this is fantastic. And that, that's another reason I've been using the pressurized basket. So as long as you're in the right uh, vicinity of ground size, you're going to get the consistent shots every morning. Not great shots. But you're gonna get a really good shot every morning. I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like, please comment and please let me know about I mean how you guys uh, uh, adjust the ground size. I'd love to hear from you. And please subscribe and see you guys next time.